What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop to Balls, bringing you guys another quick Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video where we're going to talk about playing dead. If you guys have played Black Ops 1 or Modern Warfare 2, these were pretty big strategies that you could use in both of those games. And what you would do is either in Modern Warfare 2 you would double tap the Y button, and I think in Black Ops 1 you could do the same thing, or you could hold a Semtex grenade, and you would pull your gun away and put your head down. And if you use this with like cold blooded or something so that your red name didn't show up, I mean it pretty much looked like you were a dead body. And if you did this in a corner or around a bunch of other dead bodies, enemies would most of the time just walk right past you and not even see you. And it's really good for tricking enemies and it's really pretty funny to watch and pretty fun to use. So in Black Ops 3 you can do something very similar. So the main things that are important when you're trying to do this is that one, you pull your gun away. So, I mean, when your gun's up, that's one of the biggest signs that people use to figure out whether or not you're an enemy or a dead body. And the second thing is that you're lying flat on the ground. There's some equipment like the combat axe. If you hold it, you, you will lie on the ground, but you'll sort of keep your arm way up in the air. And that would kind of just really let people know that you're not a dead body. So those are the two most important things for trying to lay prone and play dead. And the best way to do that in Black Ops 3 is either to hold a Semtex grenade or a concussion or a flash grenade. However, there's a few downsides that you were able to do in previous games that you can't do anymore. One is that right when you pull out the grenade, your guy sort of puts his head up and looks left and right sometimes. And that can give you away if an enemy is looking at you while you do that. However, if you do this in a corner or you do this, you know, behind some cover or in some dead bodies, they won't see that part and they might just still walk past you. The other thing is, uh, cold-blooded in this game does not remove your red name or the crosshair turning red of the enemy when they look at you. In old games, it did do this, and that was a significant part of playing dead because they might look straight at you but still think you're a dead body because you don't come up as red and they don't see any name. But in Black Ops 3, that's not the case anymore with cold-blooded. So if they do look at you, chances are they're going to be able to tell just because their reticle changes and they're going to be able to kill you. So again, it's not as effective as it has been in previous games, but if you do use it correctly, it can be pretty effective. The other thing you're going to want to do is use hardwired when you try to play dead, because if someone's using Sixth Sense, and a lot of people do use that in this game, if they walk past you, they'll you'll show up on their minimap with the Sixth Sense, and they'll be able to easily track you down and be able to kill you with without even having to see you even just because you show up on the map but if you use hardwired you can avoid this problem most of the time so that's definitely something recommended if you're going to try to play dead and use this strategy so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tip and we'll use playing dead sometime when you play because this can be a really fun way to play as i've used it in previous call of duty games and if you can get it right it is really fun and sometimes really funny this has been goofy goop to balls and i'll catch you all in the next video